Captain Tyler with another episode of Real Floridian Fishing. It is May 8th and we got a beautiful calm day out there today. It's Monday, a little bit of Monday fun day fishing action. Yesterday it was really rough so we had to cancel a bunch of our trips so no one was out fishing um, and then it settled right down today. So uh, the fish didn't get hammered yesterday so they've been chewing today. Our first charter caught sailfish, mahi mahis, tunas, kings, Jack, all kinds of cool stuff. So uh, we're gonna get out there and do some fun fishing. Got a good little group with me today. I got uh, one of my newest captains, Captain Jake, coming out doing some training today. My brother, sister, my cousin Max, my friend Matt. So uh, fun group. Gonna get out there and do some planer fishing first. See if we can't get a few kings in the boat. Do some fish dip, and then uh, we're gonna put up the kite if the winds are uh, strong enough. So yep, that's the plan. We'll see you out there. So uh, fish number three on, we just started drifting and we're tight. Um, it was on the deep bait, so thinking it's a tuna, but we're gonna find out. Stop, stop, stop. At the ledge, so look, when you get to the ledge, Jake, go ahead, keep reeling, keep reeling. He's right here, he's right here. Keep going, buddy. Keep going, looks like... Little nice black fin tuna, yeah. Oh, really? Nice. Nice, man. Right. On the boat. Good job, Max. Yeah. All right, guys. That's Max's first black fin. Oh, nice yeah, job, Max. You should get a picture with him, bro. Nice <laughs> fish. That's dinner bit. Oh, not my nuts. Uh, <laughs> give me a spanky. Alright, here we go, guys. I think that's what we lost on the planer, so we got our revenge. Nice black fin tuna. Beauty. Phew. We got dinner. Alright, guys. Another, oh, Chase, 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 Chase. Chase, Chase, Chase. Come on, bro. Hook that fish. Is he off? You're getting smoked up there, bro. Oh my God. All right, there's fish around. This is a big one. Yeah, pull it, yeah. Ooh. Keep it straight and guide the line we just done, yeah? It's hard to do that. Oh my God. Sorry. Reel that in, Jake. gonna cut this line Jake you gotta come back you got hold on Jake you're gonna cut us off all right pretty cool god damn it yeah your, your line just saw it through our line really we got Lucas hooked up over here Adam I'm on the camera he was catching kings out here deep Captain Chris was catching kings dude I was like over halfway up it could be a kanger could be a king um, I got that wire on there, so you got the wire. Nice, nice. Okay. Lucas is tight. Lucas is good. tight. Jake, you want to gaff this fish? Yeah. We want that fish dip. Uh, those are tuna tail beats. Just make sure you keep, you know the deal, but keep tension. No. That big ass jig is on there. 
Yeah, nice head shakes on him. I thought he always says, Tuna. 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 I see him. <laughs> TikTok. Deep color. Oh, yeah. I don't know what it is yet. I think it's a black man. No, uh, zipper twat too. <laughs> It's not done. Know what it's oh, okay. okay I'm Keep tension. That's my name, though. I'm TikTok. Yeah, it's a nice black fin. All right, guys, we got a black fin tuna on here doing some circles. Ooh. Oh shit! I don't know if it's that 20 pounder we're looking for, but it's a nice one. Yeah, that's shiny. We need them tacos. Yep. It's coming up now. I see that gold. When you see that gold color, that's how you know. You did? Oh, yeah, I'm right to you. It's not done yet. Ready? Ready? Hit him more towards the face, not in the meat like that. Oh, you didn't like that. You didn't like to see that, Gav. Ready? Wait. Wait. One more. One more loop. One more loop. He's so good. He's so good. Oh boy. Nice job. That's a nice tuna. Oh yeah. Little eight pounder. All right. Yeah. He's yeah, he good. was hooked real good. Yeah, we got almost all four in there. All right, guys. Two tunas in the box. Taco meat in the box. We got Sarah back home. She's gonna go buy some taco supplies. Yeah, he is a little bit He's bigger. On the jig, baby. Nice tuna, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, in the box he goes. All right, guys. We are hooked up. Um, we're out in 300 feet of water, so hopefully a tuner. Got Mads here, she was taking a nice little nap and woke up to a uh, real screaming. About the second best way you can wake up. Towards the back of the boat here. I'm swimming again, you know? Yep. Alright, we're gonna keep fighting. Got a gap on them. Bring it this way. We might swing around this way. Come on this way. Hold on to it. Alright, Matt, it's right here. Yep. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Nice tuna. Safe. Someone come gap this fish. Wait. You didn't like seeing that in his face. Ew. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now he knows he's fing hooked. <laughs> oh yeah, guys, he's taking line. He's pissed. Bad one. He's pissed. All right, let's get this fish in the boat. Come on, couple more, couple more circles. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just tangled it. There we go. Nice job. All right, there we go. We got one. Got one, baby. Biggest one so far. There's a nice tuna. Not bad. A 15 pounder. Nice job. All right. Boom. All right. Let's get him back out.
right, guys, back at the dock. Got some nice tunas here, some nice kings, you can see. And uh, lost a lot of fish today, user error, but uh, we're not gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about the tuna tacos we're about to mix up. So I'm gonna fillet up these tunas. We're gonna cut up these kings, make some dip, uh, turn these tunas into some beautiful tacos. So uh, anyways, I'm starting here by the head, right under that pectoral fin. Bring the knife up to the top of the head. And I'm gonna run the knife down his back, backbone, all the way down to the tail. And this isn't a huge tuna, but on a bigger tuna, I would normally run my knife down the lateral line and make two slabs. But with this guy, that's okay. I'm just gonna peel up the fillet, go over that backbone and down, up the other side. And you can run your knife over his stomach cavity so you don't pierce it. tuna right there someone gaffed it right in the meat that's okay though still plenty of meat and take his other side Slabs. Catfish food. All right, guys. Here we are in the kitchen. Got our beautiful tuna slabs. My sister Alyssa and Mads are making up some taco ingredients for us. So we are doing tuna tacos, and I did this recently, and it was absolutely delicious. What I'm going to do is just sear the, um, the tuna slab with some sesame seeds and some spicy seasoning and then keep the middle nice and rare. And then I'm gonna slice it into small pieces and we'll lay them right in the tacos. It makes a really good taco. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, prepare these, get this little bit of skin off, a little bit of bloodline out of there, and then uh, we're gonna slap them on the grill. So we got our nice tuna slabs here, nice and clean. No bloodline, no skin, ready to go. And so all I'm gonna do here is, I like Tony Thatcher's Creole seasoning. You really can't go wrong with this. It is unbelievably good on literally anything. So I'm just gonna do a light coating on here. A little bit of spicy tuna tacos. And um, you could add some other seasonings or whatever, but I just do a little light coating of this and it tastes damn good. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's what I'm doing. And then I'm um, gonna add our sesame seeds. You know, you could fully coat with your sesame seeds, but I just do a little little layer just to add a little something something plus something low on my sesame seeds but just pat them down nice try not to pour them all over your counter like I'm doing all right guys so we got our slabs here I got I, I like to use a little grill pan um, you know I could use the grill but I just I love this little grill pan man it gets it done a little side burner and uh, yeah take our slabs Lay them down, get them sizzling. Big ones down first. Oh yeah. Now what I do here guys, to get a nice sear. These are some pretty thick pieces here. You could cut them smaller. Um, but I'm gonna just keep them nice and thick. There'll just be some thick old pieces for the tacos. But uh, basically I like to watch that edge of that tuna and I wanna see it go like a third of the way through on either on all the sides. So with these pieces about a minute on each side will be perfect. All right guys, so we got about a third of the way through there. 
My two forks. Oh, that's perfection, baby. Perfection. Got the tuna slabs ready. They're nice and seared. Should be a beautiful uh, rare center. What I'm going to do is I just cut it in nice chunks and let the knife do the work here and cut it all the way through. If you press with that knife, you're going to squish the meat and it's not going to cut nicely. And then basically we're just going to lay these pieces in the tacos. See that's perfect right there. Um, and uh, you could keep it a little more rare, but um, these are some thick pieces, so I want to make sure it wasn't like straight raw in there. And you know, you could take your time and do it thinner. It's all up to you, whatever your preference. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hungry man in action Give on the, the table. What they you want. see this hairstyle? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to see that. <laughs> All right, guys. It, uh, we, we thought about making tacos, but it looks like we're making some tuna burritos here. A um, few of them already disappeared, so I'm gonna guess that they're really good. But let's go ahead and give it a shot here. Oh my goodness, baby! It's terrible. I'm just kidding. Really good. Epic day. Look at this feast we put on the table right in my backyard. Blackfin tuna, catch tuna cook. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video.